Today I'm going to tell you guys about my first modded lobby in Aliens Fireteam Elite and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome back to another video. Now, today's video was supposed to be my technician build, but something came up. I'm going to talk to you guys about my experience with my very first modded lobby that was for Aliens Fireteam Elite. And if you guys want to see more Aliens Fireteam Elite content in the form of class build, experience farming, official and fan made lore, news updates and more, be sure to subscribe down below and turn on notifications so you never miss out on any video. Okay, so let's start this off by saying that no, I am not promoting modded lobbies in this video. I am not telling you how to get into a modded lobby. I'm not showing you how modded lobbies work. And I'm not showing you how to host a modded lobby either. I play Aliens Fireteam Elite on the PC, and as many of you know, it is very, very easy for the PC community to mod lobbies inside of games. It's so easy to get into the game files and change things around for your benefit. Now, while I'm not against modded lobbies, I actually am. And let me explain why. Aliens Fireteam Elite is a new game. I mean, it just came out like two days ago. My buddies and I, and huge shout out to Saint by Design and Antonius, we have been playing this game on stream since the day of its release. And you can actually catch the stream on Saint by Design's Twitch channel at twitch.tv forward slash Saint by Design altogether. I have been experiencing the game for what it is and I have been enjoying it tremendously. If you haven't played Aliens Fireteam Elite, then I suggest you get it because this game is amazing and no, I was not paid in order to say that. However, being paid to say something that I was already going to say doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> but no, I genuinely enjoy playing this game. What I don't like is some people that play on PC that just do what they want and start pissing on you without giving it the courtesy of calling it rain. What I mean by that is that this game is still new. And if you want a mod, great. I'm not stopping you. Just keep me out of it. People who mod games in public lobbies really ruin the experience for others. Now, I personally am a modder for Outriders. However, as a modder or someone who uses mods, and no, they are not the same thing, it is your responsibility to let people coming into your lobby know that yes, this is a modded lobby. What this does is that it preserves the gameplay experience for those who do not want to be in a modded lobby. Now. I know that Aliens Fireteam Elite does not have an in-game voice chat or typing. And if it does, I haven't found it yet, but you can still let people know through Steam chat. When I first realized that something was wrong and that I could possibly be in a modded lobby was when the game started taking forever to load into the first mission and the loading bar just wasn't moving at all. Eventually, it moved a little bit, stopped again, and then started loading into the mission. As someone who has a great connection and is playing on ethernet, I gave the other two people the benefit of the doubt. As soon as I was able to move and the HUD actually shown up on the screen, that's when I got confirmation that yes, I was in a modded lobby. I seen that my health and armor both were at 9,999. I figured whatever, let me keep going. As we progressed through the mission, my ammo got low on my shotgun, and when I was able to get to a ammo crate, I wasn't able to re-up on my ammo for the shotgun and I didn't know why. Now, it could have been a bug in the game, but then I decided to switch to my handgun after we loaded into a new area. When my handgun got low, I tried to get ammo from an ammo crate again and I wasn't able to. This completely ruined my experience with this game. So, I was forced to use only my abilities and my sidearm from which we can't even customize. And need I say, this is probably the first time I ever used my sidearm on a mission. Normally, I use one of the normal weapons and my sidearm never actually sees the light of day. Sometimes I even forget it's there. If you have played Aliens Fireteam Elite, then you know that at the end of the first mission, you have to fight the hordes of normal xenomorphs. And then after the time it gets to around like 45 seconds, you get to start fighting the Xeno Warriors. And if you fought the Xeno Warriors before, you know they need a lot of damage to be taken down. Personally, I was not taking down a Xeno Warrior with a sidearm, okay? It just wasn't happening. 
The next thing I know, this dude wipes the entire board and all the Xenos stop coming. Last time I checked, normally when you're not in a modded lobby, they keep coming until everyone was in the elevator. I didn't think it was even possible to kill them all, but it happened. After the mission ended and we returned it back to the Endeavor, I confirmed the same issue of not being able to get ammo out of the ammo crate and it kind of got frustrating. Then I kicked one of the guys that was with me and everything worked perfectly fine again without any issues. Once again, I don't have problem with modded lobbies. Just let the people entering your lobby know that it is modded. Could I have left the lobby? Yes. But after a while, I started seeing it as a challenge for me as well to see how well my build for the technician would hold up with this handicap. My build did okay, but now I know that there are a few things that I need to change around before actually making a video on my technician build. And that will be out later on this week. So if you guys wanna check that out, stay tuned. I don't know, let me know what you guys think about joining modded lobbies without actually knowing you are joining a modded lobby, whether you care about it or whether you don't care, down in the comment section below. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you play Outriders, come and join the Everything Outriders Discord. All platforms are welcome. You can make new friends. We host free carries for every expedition and Eye of the Storm. Get detailed information such as data mines, patch notes, lore. We have over 1,600 members and it is growing every single day. So come and join us. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.